Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, I'm going to be talking about a problem and an error that I was running into the other day. And this problem occurred when I was trying to publish an APK to the Google Play Store. Now, Google recently changed some of their policies now requiring you to upload both a 32 and a 64-bit architecture of your game. And so when I uploaded my APK, I started receiving this warning because I had only uploaded a 32-bit architecture. And this warning talks about uploading both a 32 and a 64-bit architecture of your game. So to fix this problem, I did a simple Google search and I found this form here that talks about how to fix this warning message. And the first thing it says is to change the scripting backend from mono to li2cpp. The next thing that you'll need to do is select the three different architectures available for your build. And this is all found within the other settings of your player settings. But once I made these changes, I then started receiving these errors when trying to build my project. Now that same form that we were looking at also has the solution for fixing these errors, but I didn't realize that and I had to do a separate Google search to find this form which has the solution. And the solution is to download an older version of the NDK. And here it provides a link to where you can download the NDK R16B, which is the version that we need. And so here I already have my NDK downloaded. And once it's finished downloading, then need to extract this folder. And after that, you'll then need to go back to Unity, where we'll then go to Edit Preferences, and then we need to select External Tools. And where it says Android NDK installed with Unity recommended, we want to make sure that this is unchecked. And then we need to add in the address on our computer for this older version of the NDK. So now that I've done this, I can then go over to my publishing settings and I can sign my application and then I can build my project. And there we go, we we're able to build our project with both a 32 and a 64 bit architecture without receiving any errors. And now we can upload our APK to the Google Play Store without receiving any warnings or errors saying that we only have a 32-bit architecture. And here's a little preview of this game that my brother and I have been working on. It's getting close to being finished and we'll let you know when it's available on both Android and iOS. Now if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.